info puppet and in this next Photoshop Elements tutorial ah! I told those guys these tutorials were haunted why didn't they listen to me but listen in this next Photoshop Elements tutorial it's dispersion part 2 you are gonna love this Photoshop Elements tutorial So Photoshop Elements 10 is opened up. We're going to go to Images, Tile, and Float in All Windows. Real important that we start with that. And then New Blank File, and we want a blank file with a white background. Okay, what we're going to do now is left click, hold, and drag. Just left click and hold and drag the girl over to the white blank file. And one more time. And again, this is a real easy way to make duplicates of the same image. Alright, what we're going to do now is we're going to double click on the lock on the background layer to unlock the background layer. And now I'm holding down the shift key on my keyboard and selecting layer 1. Now I'm going to right click and select merge layers. Now uh, we've got the girl in the background layer merged. I'm holding the shift key down again, I'm selecting the next two layers, right clicking and selecting merge layers again. Alright, now let's go to the toolbar and select the brush tool. Love the brush tool. And now we're going to go to our new brushes, 1139 I believe this one is. And we have to bring the size down about to 210, that looks good. All right, make sure the color white is on top, all right? And now we're just left clicking and releasing. Now this is real important. Come up here and select this brush icon on top now and turn this wheel like a quarter of a turn. This will rotate your brush by a quarter of a turn. So it won't look like you have a repeat pattern on your dispersion effect. Really important. I would do it every time I left click and release. You don't want to have that repeat pattern thing going on. Okay, so let's go over to the brushes again. Let's select a different brush. 1262, that looks pretty good. I'm going to bring the size down to about, uh, let's say, uh, 250. Yeah, that's perfect. Now, again, I'm going to tell you guys right now that I'm going to fast forward this stuff so you're not going to see all the times that I go right here and turn this wheel for time reasons. Otherwise, I'm going to have a two-hour video. So we're, in, uh, we're going into fast forward real soon. Okay, here we go. Again, you want to spend more time and keep turning that wheel so your brush head turns. All right, now, layer one needs to be selected. Here's where the good stuff happens. Click on Add Layer Mask. Okay, there's your layer mask. Make sure the image is not selected. Make sure the layer mask is selected. And now we have to change the colors. Click this curved arrow. Make sure black is on top. All right, I'm gonna make the brush size a little bit bigger. About 331, perfect. Now guys, what I'm doing here is when I left click and release, it's punching a hole through my top layer so that you can start to see the two girls below on the second layer. It's so cool. So now I'm just left clicking and releasing. If you think that you've got too much color going on, you can go over here and flip the colors around again and start clicking and now I'm just adding white and lightening things up again. Now I'm going up to my brushes 
And let's try another brush here. 1143. Love this brush. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and uh, bring the brush size down to about 170. And left click and release. By the way, if you ever left click and release and it doesn't look like the opacity is that great, um, you just wanna left click, hold, and release. And it'll make it look a lot darker. Okay, I think, you know, we're pretty much done here. And I'll show you, I think we need a little bit of red here on the bottom. Let's click down here. Perfect. That's about it. Now look, I'm going to switch back to white and maybe just uh, lighten up some of the, the splashes of color around the edge here to help it blend a little bit better into the white. And that's it. Let's look at before and after. Here she is before dispersion and after dispersion. Hey, thanks for watching from Info.